Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In today's video, we are talking about the potential sale of SNK. We're also talking about emulation on the Microsoft Xbox S and X, as well as an update on PS5 scalping. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, it was recently reported that someone intends to buy a controlling stake in SNK. And that person, to a lot of people's dismay, turns out to be the Saudi Arabian Crown Prince. As it turns out, that Crown Prince is the exact same Crown Prince that is in this news story here. Now, a lot of gamers and SNK fans are incredibly upset at this news, and rightfully so. But there is some very important information to digest here. First and foremost, the Prince is not purchasing 100% of SNK. This will be the Prince's charity purchasing 33.3% of SNK shares and then increasing that position to 51% over time. 51% will give the charity a majority shareholder position. And now you might be wondering, what exactly does that mean? There is a huge difference between 100% ownership and 51% ownership. At 100% ownership, pretty much anything you say goes. At 51% ownership, there are a few more hoops you have to jump through. Yes, your voice matters, and yes, you probably have the power to do a lot that you want to do with the company, but at the same time, it's not as simple as snapping your fingers and having what you want done. And as a silver lining about this ownership, apparently this charity has very deep pockets, so this might actually help out SNK in terms of overall game development. And now all of this news raises some questions with gamers. First and foremost, if you purchase an SNK product in the future, Will you be helping out the Prince? And the answer is kind of. But you also have to take into consideration here that the Prince owns shares in multiple companies. So if you use things like Facebook or Disney or Marriott Resorts or even Starbucks, you're kind of indirectly helping out the Prince. And now the other question that gamers are wondering about, what does this mean for the future of SNK games? Will they drastically change? And the answer is probably not. SNK has changed hands before and the company just keeps on trucking. The games just keep coming out. So I really don't see anything changing, but I might be wrong. Next up in the news, the Xbox Series S and X turn out to be a ton more backward compatible when compared directly to the PlayStation 5. But this is backward compatibility that not a lot of people were expecting. Similar to the Xbox One, you can use dev mode on the Xbox Series S and X and install RetroArch. And the funny part about this is that Labretro is working extremely hard on a PS2 core right now. So sooner or later, most likely sooner, you will be able to emulate basically every system up to and including the PlayStation 2 on the Xbox Series X and S. Now using RetroArch through dev mode is a pretty straightforward process, but at the same time, you cannot play regular Xbox games through dev mode. You will have to switch back into regular Xbox mode. Fortunately, you can switch between the two different modes pretty seamlessly and without losing information. With the Xbox Series S priced at $379 in Canada and 299 bucks in the States, this might be the unlikely winner of the console wars. If you really think about it, this is very cheap for a system that will play a ton of old games, current gen games, as well as being extremely portable. This thing is not bulky, it doesn't take up a lot of room, and it's very accessible. That might be an unpopular opinion, but in my opinion, this is a clear winner so far. And speaking of PS5s, I talked about this group earlier on, and. They just released a statement saying they have no regrets about scalping PS5 consoles, and they have some very interesting reasoning. So they state, lots of our community have been furloughed, made redundant, or at some form of disadvantage due to the pandemic. These people have managed to cover their bills, put food on the table, and supply Christmas presents to their children. It may be unfortunate that a child won't wake up to a PS5 this Christmas, but another child may have woken up to nothing we have no regrets. Now, these kind of mental gymnastics to come up with justifiable reasons to scalp PS5s is both upsetting and kind of sad. I mean, on one hand, it is the fault of consumers willing to pay scalper prices for these devices. 
But on the other hand, they fail to acknowledge what they're doing is incredibly dirty. My only advice to you is to never purchase from a scalper. Don't purchase at the inflated prices here. This is ridiculous, it's horrible behavior, and it does need to stop. If you purchase from a scalper, you are only fueling the machine. And also, if someone is struggling to put food on their table or cover their bills, how do they afford these PS5s? If you do want some free amusement, grab some popcorn, check out Crep Chief Note notify on Facebook here and just read the comments to any one of their posts. They are getting roasted. But anyways, that is all I've got for today. Let me know in the comments below what you think about the SNK situation and do you think the games are going to change? Let me know in the comments below what you think about the Xbox Series S being the potential console winner at this point in time. Also, let me know in the comments below what you think about the PS5 scalping situation and the rationale behind the scalpers justifying what they're doing. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Thank you everyone, take care.